Hi, today I'd like to talk about flash flies, okay? Flash flies made out of synthetic materials. There are so many different patterns for them, but they're effective. I would fish this one for trout and bass in the United States, and I fish them here in uh, Southeast Asia for barramundi and other uh, species like that, okay? Wonderful flies with slight adjustments with different materials, also synthetics, with slightly different properties, we make flies that I use in very, very deep water, 100 meters plus, that we fish off of conventional gear. And they work great. The fish have never seen anything like it. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'll try to share with you what I've learned from some other really great anglers. Okay, so we start off with a good thread base. I've already, already laid down some uh, super glue on this. Now, like I said, we're fishing this in 100 plus meters of water. So there's not a lot of light down there. Okay. So we start with a glow flashaboo. Now, the reason for this is, like I said, different materials have different properties. This material is a rather stiff material once you get it cut short. When it's long like this, yeah, it looks pretty supple. But once it's short, it, it gets pretty um, stiff. So... We're going to cut this here, <coughs> excuse me. And because it's very long and still supple, we're gonna cut it in half one more time, okay? And voila, okay? Now I'm gonna work this in, okay? I want, okay, I'm gonna start with the shorter of the hairs here to measure, one, two, there. And we're gonna tie this in here. Whoop. Come on over here. Pinch, tie. I keep forgetting that technique. Very effective. Okay. Uh, there, get this all nice, neat on top. Tie this in, and I want to keep this on top. I don't want this sliding around below because I have to tie in regular flash boot. Reason for this, obviously, it glows in the dark. Okay, when I sweep it, when I sweep this part back, it'll make even more glow back there, and that'll help help to light up the other materials. And you'll see what I mean. Okay, um, now I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to get my flash underneath. I'm just using regular crystal flash if i can find where i put it there it is regular crystal flash okay and again i'm just taking you know four or five fi fibers this one okay take this cut this here and just like the other flash boo, I'm going to cut this short, cut this in half. Okay, now this one, I'm going to make the front uh, excess shorter. Split this in half around here. Come on, okay, there we go. Because the front part, I'm going to wind that in as the support for a rib cage of sorts okay because i want this to look like it's got a rib cage to it okay tie this back tie this forward a little bit let's get this disciplined okay i'll tie this back again because i now want to get this of uh, glow flashaboo tied back you see how they're two different lengths this front one and the back one, two different lengths. Okay, that creates the, the, the impression of uh, shape. Okay, winding this forward. And you notice I started winding this uh, glow stuff from the middle of the hook shank forward so that it lies flat. But if you'll notice, when I tie this regular clip crystal flash back, I'm going to start from the front. And actually, I, before I do that, I need to trim it a little bit. It's a bit too long. 
about one finger's width. Yeah. Cut that here. Okay. Because I just need this to give the impression, I mean, to give the stiffness for a rib cage. Adjust this a bit. Okay. I'm going to build this up here. And I'm not going to tie it flat. I'm just going to start tying it down. Oh, too much. That's already enough. You see, it's not it's not flat to the hook shank like the glow flash. It's wanting to stand up a bit. Okay, and that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not going to discipline it all the way back. Now I'm going to add the outside parts of this fly. It's gonna begin with the uh, baitfish emulator. Okay, and I'm gonna tie a pretty big chunk of this in. Okay, take this here. Okay, and just like extra select crafter, you wanna make sure you get all the loose fibers out, actually anything, whether it's natural or synthetic. Okay, I wanna get this about that length, good. This is gonna be shorter then, I mean, sorry, this is gonna be longer than the crystal flash, but around the same length as the glow. Okay, get this, that's correct. Here, gentle, two gentle wraps, work this around. Boy. Okay, I have it where I want it set. Okay, and because I want this to lay flat to the the crystal flash fibers. Oh, I went too far back. There we go. I'm gonna start here and wind forward. Okay, and you see how that puffs out? That's exactly what I want. Now I need to do the top, okay? And this, I'm using uh, Ice Wing Fiber Minnow Back. It's green and gold, basically, from Hairline. Great stuff. Uh, at first, when I grabbed it, I thought it was horrible stuff to work with until I realized how to work with this. You work with a little bit, and then you fall in love with this stuff, okay? So I'm just rolling this in the center taking out the excess and rolling it back into the center. Okay, you don't need this all nice and neat here. You need a solid base to tie in is what you need. Okay, get all this worked in here like this and I'm going to loop it around the thread. Okay, I'm gonna split it around the thread. Bring this to the top and tie this down. Okay, discipline the hairs a little bit. I'm gonna work this, get this adjusted just how I want it. Okay. Pull everything back. Get this tied just how I want it there. Work the front so I have a better ramp, okay. Now, before I do anything else, just a touch of super glue. Okay, now I'm gonna change threads. I'm gonna half hitch this off and I'm gonna change threads. Why? Because I wanna finish this with a white thread for the head, okay? So quickly half hitch this off. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I gotta make sure this stays, whoop, missed. Too much of a hurry there. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. Off. Touch there. Okay. Get rid of this. And now I switch to white three out because I'm gonna crank on this stuff a little bit. Okay. You don't have to, but I like to get a nice tight head to these things um, when I'm tying. Get this through here. Okay. 
there. Now start in my white thread here and I begin to tie in my head, which is going to be this material right here, ice dub, hairline ice dub, minnow body, minnow, minnow belly, okay? Great stuff, really great stuff, okay? Take a little bit here, okay? And you're gonna find the center of this stuff, okay? The center, you're gonna put it right over, okay? Tie that in, lash that in, two turns, get this situated where you want it. I'm gonna do this on all four sides because I want a solid, uh, what is that called? I want a, a solid head, quite bulbous. Excuse me, I dropped something here. Quite bulbous because I want this fly to have kind of a big profile in the front. So when I, when it jerks or whatever from the current, this fly is gonna walk the dog sort of in, in, in four dimensions, uh, three dimensions, sorry, okay? Uh, if it's only two dimensional, like say this one right here, okay, where it's it's only puffy on top and bottom, this one won't walk so well, okay? It'll go up and down well, but that's about it. I want this one to go all directions. So I'm gonna do the bottom first. Well, next, not first, but next. Okay, now the sides. A little bit goes a long way. You just need a bit, you know, a little bit more than that. Okay, just same like the the uh, middle back material. Just want to find the middle. Yeah. Okay, get the other side. There. Get the middle here. One, two, adjust. Okay. Tie this all forward. Okay, really get to the eye. Now bring this all back. Gotta, okay, and really work. Okay, now this is where you wanna really crank on the thread. Okay, good. That's looking nice. Now I got a nice bulbous head. I'm going to tie this off. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, a little too much English on that one. Okay, and then one, one two, three, four. Mm, not quite happy with that, one more. One, two, three, good. Now, cut this off again. I'm not sitting there and like this. I just form a nice little V there, get it tight, pull the thread tight, there. That's all there is to it. It's nice and clean, okay? Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna super, well, sorry. First thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some eyeballs, okay? For this, it's nice to have a bodkin to help you out, okay? So I'm just gonna peel off an eyeball here, okay? Rotate the vise, place, okay? Now, one more. Ah, uh, come on. Ah! Come to daddy. Turn this over and place this. Here. Now, to make sure those stay, this next part, Super glue bath on the threads. Okay. 
and then between the eyeballs here okay i'm going to hold these eyeballs down and just drop super glue on the material in between okay that's it these things are stuck they aren't going anywhere those eyeballs to make sure i'm also going to go on the bottom okay and you can see uh, when you work with this stuff, you'll see that that super glue will soak right through into the base of the materials. Okay, that's what you want. Now, when that dries, you end up with something like this. Okay, now this is a regular flash fly. I'm, I got one that's half dissected, so you can see. Without the head, you can see you have the, that minnowing here. You have the stiff glow-in-the-dark fibers here. And those glow-in-the-dark flash blue ones will light up in the dark, dark, you know, 100 meters of water. Okay, I put light on them before I send it down. And that helps this whole thing light up. I've actually tried this in the water in, in a tank in the dark. And it's amazing. That glow comes right through the minnow flash, the, the, the bait fish emulator on the bottom. So it looks like this thing is glowing. Fantastic. And it catches fish. Of course, this one doesn't have the head that this one will, okay? Uh, but this is deconstructed just for demonstration purpose for you guys, okay? So, I hope that this gives you guys some ideas and some possible new directions to take fly tying because that's the beauty of fly tying. It can go anywhere, do a lot of different things, and the fish won't know what hit them. Cheers, have a good one.